Hi there, my name is Jerusen and, and I'm here for Google Media and I'm here with... George Braggis. And I'm here to ask some questions about the Study Abroad program. So tell us about your role with the whole Study Abroad program. Okay, sure. Um, I'm the Assistant Vice Provost of the University and as uh, part of that role I oversee the international initiatives. And uh, the international initiatives are two. Uh, one is the semester elsewhere and the other is the study abroad. And the study abroad is our most popular uh, initiative. It involves a, a 10 to 12 day study tours as part of a course that uh, people can take in the spring. Mm -hmm. So how would you sell your study abroad program to students? Like say for example, the first year university student were to come in and say, hey, I want to get into the study abroad program. What would be some of your main selling points for right. this education? Uh, I would say the main one is that this is a, a chance to have a transformative experience. Uh, something that changes your whole way of thinking, your whole worldview. Uh, everybody uh, who studies at a university as an undergraduate should have at least one uh, transformative experience, and I think the study abroad program is an opportunity for that. I think for those who may be pursuing an international career, uh, this is a good opportunity to, um, to interact with another culture. Uh, and I think just for students in general, uh, we live in a more globalized environment, and uh, it, there's going to be a premium. There already is a premium on uh, being able to deal with different cultures, uh, and uh, and I think the study abroad uh, helps with that. I'm, I'm assuming that there's going to be a lot of great stories with a lot of the study abroad programs that you've conducted in the past. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I, I, among the the stories, uh, one of our in one of our tours, we actually saw the Pope. We didn't get a chance to meet him, but we actually saw the Pope, Pope mm -hmm. Benedict. Uh, when we were in uh, in Italy, uh, so that uh, is one uh, great story. We've also visited some uh, very interesting places over the years. Uh, we've been to Thomson Reuters. The media students have been there. We've been to uh, uh, Mediacom uh, in uh, London. Uh, we've been to I think it's seven, 14 different countries over the years. Uh, 270 students have uh, gone abroad. And uh, I've heard from many students, especially at Convocation, uh, how uh, wonderful, how memorable the experience was. It was that it was it the was a really transformed experience. Yes, here yeah, in yes, yes. So um, well, I think that those are some of the some of the good stories uh, mm -hmm. from um, from this uh, study abroad in the past. What What are some key points that you want to talk yeah. about to our students? regarding the trip to China? Sure, yeah, I'll be leading the study tour to China uh, for spring 2016. Uh, we're gonna go to two cities. Uh, we're gonna go to Beijing and we're gonna go to Shanghai. Shanghai, the financial and business center and Beijing, the political center. So we're, uh, th there's gonna be, uh, academically, there'll be an emphasis on the history and culture of China. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a civilization that goes back uh, many thousands of years, almost 5,000 years. Uh, I'll, we also wanna talk about the recent uh, uh, growth uh, economic uh, uh, growth in China. Uh, it, we've seen some spectacular growth rates uh, since the late 1970s, since they uh, implemented some market reforms there. Uh, lately, China's stock market has had some uh, troubles, if you've been watching the mm -hmm. news, but uh, it's still a very, very positive economic story, so we're going to be talking about that. So it'll be a bit of current events, uh, economic current events especially, uh, and also um, appreciating the and learning more about uh, Chinese history and culture. Oh. What would you say to the first year uh, uh, students in Guelph Humber about the student program? Uh, I would say if uh, you're in first year, do not, be, uh, do not be at all timid about exploring this. We've had many first year students go on these study abroad uh, tours. Many times you get the question, can I go if I'm in first year? The answer is yes. Uh, and uh, we've had uh, several cases where we've, uh, we've had uh, for lack of a better phrase, repeat business, where students go on more than one study abroad. And you're more likely to do that if you go on your first year.